So today, I wanna to talk about this expensive drawing that I bought and how it relates to how women are viewing you in the dating world. So I recently went to a drink tasting out here in La La Land, and the, the drink tasting itself was already pretty expensive to get into, but I went to it with a few friends of mine and we got to taste some drinks, learn the history behind those drinks. It's pretty awesome. But anyway, on stage, there was a guy and he was drawing a picture of a woman, not this one. But the point is, he was drawing that picture and then he had other pictures that were in frames, like three or four of the pictures that were surrounding him that were available for sale, right? And so our host person introduced the artist. They said his name is Matt Haley. And they said, oh, he's actually worked with Stan Lee and other comic book artists. And he's, I guess, pretty well known in the comic book world. I don't know, I don't really study that stuff like that aside from the Marvel movies. But anyway, so he's on stage drawing and our table is situated right next to where I can see the other pictures. And I see this picture right here. And it's like staring at me the entire time I'm at this, at this uh, drink event. And eventually I was just like, I just need to know how much this thing costs. I don't think I'm gonna probably buy it because it probably costs too much, but I just really like the way this picture is looking at me. So after the drink thing's over with, I go up to where the picture is and I wave to the artist and say, hey, question, how much does this drawing cost? So he comes down, looks at it and he says, he gives me a price for the picture. I'm not gonna say what the price is, but the point is he gave me the price of the picture and it was a lot higher than other art. Like I have artwork that you've seen in my other videos that I've personally painted at paint nights that I have. I have yet to ever buy an actual piece of art before because I, I know that if you wanna get a really good piece, it can be kind of pricey. But I looked at it. I'm like, I'm looking at this picture. I can't stop looking at it. I really like the artwork. It's a one of a kind picture and that's just it, it's one of a kind. This isn't hanging out in any other stores. This isn't like a $20 picture I can buy at Walmart and they have replicas of it at other Walmarts. This is a one of a kind picture that if I don't get this particular one, I am never gonna get a shot at buying this picture again. And I had a choice to make. And the choice that I made was on the spot, you know what, I already know I like it, I want it. It's more than I'd probably pay for a picture, but I really see value in it and I'm gonna go ahead and get it. And that's what I did. And of course, I always relate everything I do now to like dating because I'm always thinking about what advice can I give to you guys? So how does me buying this picture relate to you as a guy in your dating life? Well, what do I tell you guys all the time? I tell you guys that women are getting hit on quite frequently for the most part. Most average or above average women are getting consistently hit on by men in their DMs, in their day-to-day -day lives. They're getting cat called, messages, yada, yada, yada. But even though that's happening, most women aren't actually going after those guys that want them. Why is that? Because they're a dime a dozen. There's, there's so many guys that are hitting up saying, hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Hey, what's up? Or they're doing these mundane things with their lives. They're not really lively. They don't know how to converse very well. They don't know how to you know, eat without smacking the food. Like there's a bunch of stuff, uh, guys out there that are after them, but they're not guys that they wanna pick. And then, they, they, go, they go on like 10 dates, right? Nine of those dates, the guys are all the same. They're texting too much, they're calling too much. They're, they don't have anything interesting going on in their lives. And all of a sudden, they go on that one date and it's like, oh my God, this is the guy. He's, he's making me laugh. He's not making me feel bad if I don't wanna hook up with him this first night. He seems to have a good family background. He, he you know, has a business he's building or he seems motivated to do a lot of good stuff with his life. He talks well about his brothers and sisters. He wants to have kids. Like, oh my gosh, this guy is a unicorn. What are the odds that I'm gonna find this guy again? Because I've already gone through these nine dates that were horrible. I've gone through all the dating apps where I'm just swiping left and right on these guys that just don't seem to be a good fit. And after all that search and all that time and all that digging through these guys and stuff, here's the guy. And now she's got a decision to make. Does she now try to sit back and wait and play it cool and hope that you're gonna notice that she likes you and maybe possibly get with her? Or does she now gotta make the necessary moves to get you as the valuable pitcher? And so this is why I try to stress to you guys so much about the whole thing of you trying to do so much and trying to push your agenda and trying to text and call the time is that none of that is necessary when she sees you as a unicorn.
when she sees you as the one thing that if she passes on, she's probably not gonna find again. And this is where I tell you guys, if this is why you wanna become the kind of guy that women are gonna realize is very valuable and rare. I'll tell you a little secret, okay? One of the things that actually helped me in hindsight was I didn't hook up with anybody until I turned 23. What did that do? I mean, at the time I was mad because I was like, I could have been hooking up since I was like 16 or 17, but you know, I didn't know how to talk to women. I was basically not a unicorn. I was like every other guy out there who was nervous around women and couldn't really talk to them and got put in the friend zone. But I found that waiting that long made me one of the few guys that never pushed a hookup agenda on dates. So what did that do later in my dating life? Well, ironically enough, I'd go on first dates and I hear women say things like, well, just so you know, we're not gonna hook up on this first date. And my response would be, I can wait. In fact, I could probably outweigh you because you probably lost your, you probably you know, hooked up with somebody for the first time at like what, 16, 17, 18? I already got the, the record beat on you on waiting. So if we gotta wait a week, two weeks, two months, four months, I, I do not care. And I found that now made me the unicorn because now they realize I wasn't gonna push a hookup agenda on them, which now made it their decision. But in making it their decision, they respected me so much for not pushing the agenda that they'd wanna hook up faster, you know? And so this is why I tell you guys, you don't need to do so much. Like you wanna do what you need to do to show that you're interested. You're asking for the date, you're approaching her, you're asking for her number, you're saying you wanna take her out, you're paying for dates. Like these are things that'll show that you're interested, but you also don't wanna do so much pushing that you start to look like every other guy to her. So you doing that would be, you're texting her all the time like every other guy she's dumped. You're trying to see her every day like every other guy she's dumped. You're trying to talk about feelings like every other guy she's dumped. You're trying to get her to a relationship like every other guy that she's dumped. You can't be doing things that all, the, all these other guys are doing that are causing them to no longer be around versus if you're learning how to be patient, if you're learning how to have conversation skills that cause women to realize, oh, he actually is knowledgeable. If you work on your confidence, if you work on these other various things and then you just kind of like dole those out on dates and then you kind of lean back a bit, you're gonna start to be seen as that rare guy that's not forcing her to be in a relationship, that's not pressuring an agenda, and that's not making her do things that she's not ready to do when she's not ready, which will then ironically, A, make you get into a relationship faster and B, make her see you as that rare picture. Because I'll tell you, I knew going in this was gonna cost a whole lot, but I do not regret for a second that I bought this picture. Just like women that see you as rare and valuable are gonna be willing to darn near throw themselves at you, but have no regrets when they pick you as the person because you're the only person that they see that has any value to her in her relationship life. So guys, it is possible. If you don't know how to do that though, it could just be that you need to learn some simple dating skills that are gonna help you out. Obviously, I have this channel here, uh, my YouTube channel at Harry Wilmington to help you out with the over 400 videos at this point. But if you need one-on-one -on -one coaching, I offer that at the website, introvertdatingsuccess.com, as well as various eBooks, programs, and the IDS Academy, which gives you a full litany of things that you can use to help you effectively uh, meet, greet, attract, date, land, and keep the woman of your dreams, all right? So be sure to check that out. Lastly, guys, I've created an album that goes with my ebook, No Girls For You. It's the No Girls For You soundtrack featuring my buddy Nan Juan, the puppet guy you guys see on here. And yeah, he's a guy that's unlucky in love just like I was once. And this album is just chock full of funny songs about the ins and outs of dating. So be sure to check that out at the website. You can catch the music video for the first single, Tongue Tied, now on my YouTube channel as well as at the website. And you can get the album at the website and stream it on all platforms. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Harry Wilmington, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode. I'm out. Peace. Tonight's your night to shine. I'm taking you out to have a good